Good morning. So it is about 8 a.m. and I'm finishing getting ready really quickly and I'm taking my daughter to her 12 month checkup at the doctor. So I figured I'd take you along in my day. My day's a little bit interesting. It's not a typical like I'm gonna be filming an editing video. It's a very different kind of a day and usually I'm filming when it's a normal day. So I figured let's do an abnormal day. So we're still kind of coming off the high of her birthday party and all of that. So we feel like we're kind of back to normal. We've rested a bunch. So I'm actually trying something out that is new to me, the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club. I haven't finished this eye yet, but I finished this eye. I like it. It's not my favorite like super volumizing mascara, but it definitely adds some curl. Oh boy, I messed it up. Um, and separate. So if you like curl and separation, I think you'd like this. This is my first day. I feel like after a week or two, most mascaras dry out a little bit and their formula changes, oftentimes for the better in my opinion. So I'll have to get back to you guys on this, maybe in like an Instagram update or a future vlog, whatever. But I'm enjoying it. It's not my favorite yet, but I could see why people like this if you like that kind of a thing. I gotta fix this mascara. But... Um, hold on, I need a sip of coffee. Let's a lot of you guys asked me about the difference between this e.l.f. New Classics palette that I was just talking on Instagram about and I posted a picture of and the Natasha Denona Biba palette. Some people were saying you've heard they're dupes. I would not say they're dupes, but boy are there a lot of similarities. I feel like if you own one, you don't need the other. Obviously the e.l.f. one is about a million times cheaper. The Natasha, the, I can't say it. The Natasha Denona palette is gorgeous and it, I mean, it is, but I feel like the e.l.f. one is just as pigmented. e.l.f. here on the middle finger, Natasha Denona. They're both beautiful. They both blend well. I haven't noticed a huge difference in wear time either. So I don't know. I've always said this about Natasha Denona. They are absolutely beautiful palettes. This was sent to me in PR. I, I, have, I can say nothing wrong against them except for the fact that they're $150 or $169, whatever insane price. I don't think anyone should pay that for an eyeshadow palette. So I don't think I've ever just wholeheartedly recommended one for that reason alone. You don't need to. This e.l.f. one is beautiful. It blends well, it stays on. I mean, how much more do you need from a palette, you know? But I've really been enjoying this. I was talking about how I used only the shade Cream and Truffle today. I just put Truffle all in the crease and on the lid and Cream on the brow bone. But on other days, like I really like Charmer in the crease and Platinum and Cosmo is really pretty. They're all so pretty. And then I used Muse as my liner today but I've also used Noir. They're both really easy to line the lids with. If you line the lids, that sounds weird. <laughs> anyway, it's an awesome palette. Good morning, monkey. Did daddy get you up and dress? He picked out a cute outfit. Gigi loves playing in my makeup and she's learned how to open these drawers. I'm like, oh no, which also means she's like stubbing her fingers, stubbing, slamming her fingers in them. I'm like, oh my gosh, it begins. Hi cutie, you got a good night's sleep. We gotta get you some breakfast and get you to the doctor. You're gonna hate it. Oh my gosh, she hates the doctor. Only a good time to tell you that this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You'll hear more about them later on in the video, but I like to let you guys know ahead of time. But yeah, I need to dry shampoo my hair. This is second day hair, clearly. And this is always the lighting in my bathroom that tells me if my face is too greasy and I think it's just slightly too greasy. So I need to powder. I can always tell on my chin, I'm like, Girl, you don't need to be greasy on that chin. So I might need to repowder. that's if I have time, but we need to leave in about 15 minutes. He, uh, Tyler, my husband's feeding her some breakfast really fast downstairs. So I need to pick out an outfit. We are using, by the way, the Kristen S. Dry Shampoo. I like it. Um, I actually really like it. It definitely has a smell to it, but it's a fresh smell, but it's something to be aware of. It's definitely prevalent. But um, boy, I'm going through it fast. I feel like I've used it like four times and I'm halfway through, so that's terrifying. <laughs> so this is about to get real deep and personal, but to all those people that don't like their legs, I feel ya. And I hate my legs so much that I never wanna wear shorts. But I had this realization the other day. I'm like, you know what, Jessica, you're only getting older and you can't go through your entire life as you your skin gets older and your legs look even more different. Not wearing shorts, that's crazy. So I'm like, forget it. I know that my legs are not like terrible, but I got this, this scar there like, I don't know, seven months ago from a fall and like just little things I bruise easily. 
all these different things that I don't like, but I'm like, you're being insane. And I know that. So anyway, to all those people out there that don't like your legs, stop. No one's looking at your legs, A. B, comfort is more important. If it is 85, 90, 95 degrees out, wear some darn shorts. You're only getting older. But now that I'm not greasy up there, one of my favorite things to do to help with the dryness at the bottom of your hair when you dry shampoo, I've been enjoying this Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine, but anything that's gonna add like a shine to your hair, just a couple of spritzes and I just kind of work it through to the ends and it kind of revives it and conditions it in a way, or at least it looks conditioned, you know? So it doesn't look quite as dry, it looks a little bit more pulled together. Such a simple fix. They do sell like dry conditioners, and I've used those and I really like them too, but honestly, you can get way more use out of this because you only use like two or three spritzes and you're done. Anyone else turn into the worst version of themselves when you keep dropping your freaking contacts and you can't get them in, then you gotta clean them off because there's fuzz on them, and then I like turn into the meanest Jessie ever. So I'm packing her diaper bag. We got this on Amazon. It's actually our second one similar, and this one's the best made of the two. So I'll link this exact one. Pretty inexpensive considering other diaper bags are like a hundred dollars. <laughs> But I'm packing some snacks for her because she really does hate the doctor because she's usually getting shots and things like that. So I'm packing some goldfish, baby crackers, just discovered these are a thing and they're like baby size and they're amazing. And then some cheese that I cut up really, really small for her. She loves cheese. So this is like for when it all goes south, I'm saving the cheese for that. That's my secret weapon. So daddy's feeding her. Hi monkey. And I didn't realize we match. We both have stripes on. Yummy oatmeal. Mmm. That was rough. <laughs> it's a lot of shots on the 12 month appointment, but I was glad to get the MMR, which includes the measles, since there's been quite a few outbreaks and stuff. I've been like waiting for this 12 month appointment for that. So that is good, because we do travel a lot and it's scary, you know, if we're traveling to a place where there's a big outbreak, it's like, so she's finally at the age where she could get it. So that was good, but it was a lot at once and she just freaks out naturally, most babies do. But she's good, she's got her bottle back there. She's whew, calmed down. I brought her favorite food, cheese, which helped a lot because, whew, man. We're finally back. I'm gonna make an egg wrap for myself. She's laying down for a nap. Um, this is my new favorite like wrap or flatbread, whatever you wanna call it. I really like the honey weed. It's got some flax in it, which is great for your system. So love this. I'm gonna make one for Tyler too. This is my favorite brand, Vital Farms. Look this brand up if you're looking to switch up where you buy your eggs from. Um, they're an incredible brand. So they are expensive. I know that obviously it's not affordable for everyone. Uh, frankly, two years ago, there's no way I could have done this. But right now we're in a spot where I'm excited to be able to support a really good company. So I love these eggs. They're so flipping good. So I'm gonna scramble some of these up. And then you guys recommended this. We're not vegan, but this is this vegan breakfast sausage. We tried some like full-size sausage from this field roast brand and it was so good. And a lot of you guys said, oh my gosh, you have to try their breakfast sausage that's got like apple maple flavor. So I think I'm gonna cook just a couple of these and then cut them up and put them in with the eggs to put them in the flatbread. So we're gonna see how this turns out. So I literally just dump them on and then I just roll them up. Little breakfast burrito. Verdict on the breakfast burrito delicious it's really really good i would totally say if you like hot sauce put hot sauce on it like i feel like a uh, cholula would be good on it um or sriracha but it's good and the verdict on the sausage is it's also really good it tastes a lot like the larger sausage that i use for a certain meal i make like a vegan kind of protein bowl ish thing but i like that taste so i'm all i'm all good with it it's really good so i'm in need of some sundresses because i know i'm not a huge fan of you know, wearing shorts all the time. I'm so much more comfortable in dresses and I know Amazon has so many cute ones. So I'm gonna buy a bunch and I think I'll do a try on video. If you guys would be interested in me doing it like for YouTube, let me know. Cause I think I'm gonna buy like eight <laughs> dresses. Um, and a lot of these aren't uh, prime wardrobe. Are they still doing prime wardrobe? Cause that was awesome. Cause then you can buy a bunch and then return some. But regardless, like this is so cute. Um, I'm just showing you a couple of them. I really like this dress. 
they're just so like feminine and flirty. Um, this one would be really cute. And also I think it could work as like a swimsuit cover up too, if you really needed it to be, you know? So I literally am buying, I don't know if I'm gonna buy all these, but I'm buying a lot. So these are all my travel toiletries. I know, I hope you're good falling because this is ridiculous. But I wanna get rid of at least two thirds of this. You know, a lot of these would be great for uh, donation centers for people that need just regular toiletries, things that aren't necessarily makeup like I usually donate. So there you go. Um, hmm. I don't really know where to begin. <laughs> Maybe let's start on these drawers. Let me just pull out a drawer and start there. So I'm just gonna pull out the things I know that I'll probably use and set them on top and anything I'm getting rid of. Let me make some room here. So, um, like these makeup remover wipes, I don't buy these, but I do use them from time to time if I'm just doing a couple day trip. So I'm gonna keep those together and keep them, but eventually those will be used up. I use the CeraVe. These are two of my favorite products. My Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, I actually just refilled because I love this, so I'm definitely keeping that. Um, I just refilled it with my full size. Maybe I'll pull out things I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use and then I'll go through those because the rest, if it doesn't jump out at me, I don't necessarily need to keep it. Facial cleanser, that, my husband might want that. Travel Size Fix Plus. I never use these like take the day off things, so that's an easy thing to go. Hangover products like from Too Faced. A lot of these are trunk elephant I really like. But like, I don't like the ceramic slip cleanser from Sunday Riley. That's an easy one to pass on. I have a lot of products from brands I love that I'm gonna need to go through. These can go. More makeup remover stuff that can go. Strobe cream I probably will use. Hangover can go. Some of these are almost gone. I can probably just take out and use up, you know? Like this is a great example. This is the Hourglass Little Veil Mineral Primer. I don't really even use this in my day-to-day -day life. Why would I suddenly magically need to use it when I'm traveling? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. That's actually nice and small. I didn't even know I had that. A mascara I've never used. A couple of them. Like why is that in there? Continuing on, a lot of these, like they're mostly gone. Like this one is so bulky for a travel thing, so I can use that up on my own. Again, this is one I can use up, it's almost gone. I like, but it's way too bulky to be a travel size anyway. And this is actually a setting spray I just got in a FabFitFun, so it's cool. I didn't even realize I had like a little baby size. So I'm getting rid of a decent amount, but let me kind of go through and see how many cleansers do I have. Because obviously I'll go through them, so it's not it's okay to have you know more than one, but I don't need like six. I think this is a cleanser too from Tatcha. That's doable. I don't think that's too crazy. So I think I'll keep those. Actually, I might give this to my husband because I think he would use this. Some moisturizers. Some of these are like empty. Um, I think I have a few of the Lala Retro. That one's almost gone. I can probably combine those. Two Clinique Take the Day Offs. That one's almost gone as is that one, I can use those up. Yeah, these are both full, so I'll definitely keep those. So that's an eye cream. This is an eye cream I love. CEO, why do I have two of these? Like a, oh, that's the moisturizer and this is the serum. This is a hydration serum, I'll keep that. Oh, and then this is like a mask if I want to do it. So that is so much better, this is so much more doable. This is technically a body cream, so I'm gonna move that. And then I can put my little makeup remover things in here as well much more user friendly. Okay. So like I just recently bought this before our last cruise because the shampoo and conditioner on cruises are usually not the best, not with all cruises, but anyway. Um, and I really like this when I'm wearing my hair natural. So I'm definitely going to keep that. My favorite hairspray of all time. Definitely keeping. I've been enjoying this curl like smoothie stuff. Oh, this was mousse that I used. That was not bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. So I'm going to keep that. And then some of these, again, are like almost gone. I'm not a big Garnier Fructis shampoo person, so that can easily go. I like the Diva Curl Wave Maker, Diva Curl, whatever. I'm not gonna use anything that's like a spray like this. I just don't end up using those products, so those can go. BB Curl Pre-Styling Primer. I'm just gonna think about that. Any of these curl creams. And I wanna make sure I have a dry shampoo. These little packets. I might keep some of these, not the Garnier. I'll keep these two for if I'm just doing an overnighter. Huh, these are from Disney, actually. These are not bad, but they're not my favorite. I'm gonna ask my husband if he wants them because I bet he will. That's really good. Okay, this shampoo and conditioner is really good too. I think any other shampoo and conditioners can go. Oh no, that's nice too. Crap. 
problem is I actually really like a lot of the ones I have. I don't like the smell of Elnut, so that can go. I've got two of those living proof things. Oil gel I won't use. There's the dry shampoo. This dry shampoo is like gone. Defining gel, I won't use the gel. This is like a deep cleanser for your hair. Dry shampoo. I don't really need that. What is this? Shine cream, finishing cream. There, I just have so much. I don't really need all of this. All right, so let's kind of go through this and see what we're left with. So, shampoo and conditioner wise, I've got those two, these two, and these two. I just need to use those up. But these are all ones I like. They're good brands I like, so I'm gonna keep those. I like the Wave Maker. These are kind of a similar product, these two. So definitely keeping those. I guess I don't really need the styling cream as well. That's probably plenty. I'm gonna try out the BB Curl Style Primer. I'm gonna put it in my bathroom to try. Dry texturizing spray, curl cream. See, there we go. I don't need all of those. <sighs> Mousse I'll definitely use. This like Build Up Buster I'm gonna put in my shower. I'm not gonna travel with that, but I do like the product. Invisible oil. So that's a lot more hair products than I think I wanted to keep, but that's okay. Better. All right, Gigi's awake, so she's gonna be crawling around here. But just so you know, if you hear weird noises. So this is kind of my like miscellaneous one now that that's done. Um, like toothpaste, I'm obviously going to be keeping. Um, dish soap, you'd be surprised. Like if you have a kid or like bottles, you end up needing it. So I am gonna keep that. Um, hand sanitizer I'll use. Uh, this body butter is really old, um, but I do have one body butter I like, however, I prefer to use like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I really like. Uh, I've got a couple. I think this one's really, yeah, that expired November of last year. Contact solution, but I do have this one. Keep that. Um, I don't really need the Stretch Mark Cream right now. Body Wash. I have a few. This one's pretty old, so I think it's time for that one to go. Uh, lotions. We've got a couple of lotions here. But we already have the Boom Boom Cream for the body. I don't really need it. This one is super old. I don't even know when I got that. I'll keep the Almond Milk and Honey and the First Aid Beauty. I feel like I'll use both of those. My Equip Toothbrush. This is actually my old one. Fume Atomizer. I'm definitely keeping these nail polish remover pads. I'm just going to keep one. I don't need both. Laundry soap sheets are pretty darn cool. So some of these like refillable things, I don't even know what's in them. So I need to clean these out. Got a little travel deodorant. Um, it's the Native Coconut, which I... I do like, but I always end up bringing my normal one. But if I were ever really pressed for space, I would bring that. So I have all of these little uh, perfumes. Honestly, I don't ever use any of these, you guys. That's Nest Black Tulip. That one I do sometimes use, so I will bring that. Shave cream, I don't end up traveling with shave cream. Like that. I think these are like hair things. So now I've got all of these little guys. All of these wipes, because I feel like there's gonna be a time and a place where it's just really nice to have. These are SPF of 50 little vials, which are really cool, I'm gonna keep. And then I think these are just hair things, but I don't need both, so I'm gonna recombine those. Um, but this will still be my miscellaneous for now, so I'll put those two there. Got body wash, deodorant. These, it really is just like a random smattering of things. I'm gonna put the SPF in the face drawer. So yeah, look at all that. That's all stuff I'm getting rid of. Some of it might uh, be used up. Like there are a few products I'm gonna go through and pull out and just use up in the bathroom here over the next week. So it's not totally wasted, but a lot of this is gonna be passed on. Some of it I'm gonna ask my husband if he wants for his travel drawers, but it feels so much better just getting all this stuff. I was constantly like pushing these things out of the way when I pack for travel. And I'm like, why do I even have them then? Why not just keep exactly what I want to keep? And then I just realized I do have these like drunk elephant little sets they've sent me of like travel toiletries, but I actually use a lot of their skincare products as it is. So I probably will keep those because I know they'll get used. By lunch, we've got some cauliflower and pasta from last night, some cheese. Happy girl, we're about to go to my sister's house. So for a fun little update in the day, we had scheduled a like air conditioning person to come to the house and we knew we probably needed a new air conditioner because the one we have now is like 11 or 12 years old and it's just been on the fritz off and on for literally since we moved in two years ago. So we're finally like, all right, we'll entertain the idea of freaking replacing it. So he was actually here while I was filming the declutter upstairs, but uh, it's one of those expenses in life that is so not fun. <laughs> 
So anyway, we're gonna go to my sister's house because she's having a garage sale soon and we had a bunch of stuff we were gonna get rid of that we're gonna bring over there. And then, uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna like chat with my sister. We haven't, we don't get to do this very often, so I'm excited to hang out with her. So we're at my sissy's house and she's playing with Gigi, your cute little <laughs> She gets to pull, she has like a special box of all the baby toys, so she gets to play with them when she comes that. here. She wants but to. Abigail gave us some coffee and cookies on a little tray and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> Sweetie pie. <laughs> so my sister <laughs> was just telling me about this awesome thing she's been doing for K-Cups, like for your cure. Go. Okay. <laughs> she said that she was worried she'd get weird when I was filming her. Definitely weird. Mission accomplished. <laughs> okay, I can't get down with Costco coffee. Why? Because <laughs> it's too much of a commitment <laughs> to one kind of coffee. That's true. That's for true. like 50 bucks. Yeah. So, Keurig.com. Auto delivery, 25% off. You can get any flavor you want. And Do you work for Keurig? Is Keurig no. sponsoring this video? No. I just really <laughs> like my coffee in the morning and in the afternoon and at dinner time. Same. And See, this is where I get it. It runs in our blood. It does. Coffee runs in our blood. <laughs> but that's awesome because you were saying you can get like 8, 10, 12, mm -hmm. like 24 packs and it's discounted yep. if you do the auto ship. The first month I did it, I got four boxes of 24 cups for about 10 bucks, 10 or 11 bucks, it depends on what kind you get. And it lasted us the whole month. This month I got five boxes. I'm, I don't know what, I think the one I'm having though is an Aldi's one and it's really good. Aldi's good too. Yeah, yeah. it is. Aldi's it is. very good. Yeah, Aldi's. Keurig, auto delivery. That's awesome. Thanks sis. Way to go. Great okay, day. it is like 7.03 and I'm exhausted. But it is time for dinner. We just got back from my sister's house. Of course it was like rush hour, so traffic was like a 30 minute drive turned into 50, 55 minutes, so that was fun. But I'm excited to cook some dinner because this meal I picked is quick. So as I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I'm so excited. I'm working with them all year long. I genuinely enjoy this service. I actually gifted HelloFresh to my mom for Mother's Day. So side note, Father's Day is coming up. If you have a dad that likes to cook, whatever, it'd be a good Father's Day gift. So like I said, we use this all of the time. We love this service. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, it's basically a meal delivery service. You can choose to get it every single week or you can skip weeks. So tonight's meal, for example, is the Cajun blackened chicken and rice bowls. It looks so delicious. I love that the recipe cards are really easy to follow. The step-by-step -step instructions are in the order that you genuinely need to do everything in so that everything is done at the same time. But another thing I love about HelloFresh is you're sent the exact ingredients you need, the exact quality, quantity you need so there's no waste. It makes grocery shopping and meal planning so easy for the week. And I love that you've got options with HelloFresh. You can choose the veggie plan, the classic plan, or the family plan. We do the classic because we do like having some meat in our diet as well, but it's totally up to you. And for each week that you're ordering, you get to choose what recipes you actually want to cook. If you're anything like us and you're busy, whether you're a parent or you just work long hours, whatever your situation may be, you don't have a lot of time to cook dinner. These meals, a lot of them can be cooked in under 30 minutes and that's like prep time and cook time all together. It is amazing. So HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving, so you can get a lot of food for your money. You'll get eight free meals, which is two free meals in your first four boxes by going to HelloFresh.com and using my code JessicaBron80 for a total of $80 off. So tonight's meal, is totally up our alley. We love rice, we love chicken, and when you start adding in little veggies here and there that have been sauteed and some sour cream, this looks unbelievable. This, <laughs> Future Jessica, you can either edit out the mess or leave it in. This is a constant struggle. This is <laughs> Messy Jesse. I brought some of the extra like crema. It's literally sour cream and hot sauce mix. It's Cholula, Tyler, which is my favorite. Ooh. Weirdly, I talked about Cholula earlier in this vlog. <laughs> Why am I talking about hot sauce so much? <laughs> okay, moment of truth. This is the best one we've ever made. You don't know. I don't. Uh, yum. This is amazing. <laughs> so we're eating something really delicious. My One of my old coworkers, Lauren, had taught me about them. It's literally saltines with it's actually supposed to be on top but it kind of seeped to the bottom with brown sugar and butter melted on a stove you pour it over it you bake it for like five minutes and then you put chocolate chips and they melt and you spread them and then you freeze it and we put i put like little crunched up what chopped up pecans on top you guys so good it's better than you think it is that might sound like oh that sounds good like kind of a caramel almost like a brown sugary caramel some chocolate no think of your favorite dessert 
And this is better. <laughs> also, we're watching AP Bio, which we love. There are a couple new episodes we somehow missed, so we're excited by, yeah. about that. Also, my so cousin funny. works on this show. Do you yeah. know that? I did know that. Fancy, right? That's really cool. Yeah. Look outside. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Looks like ice cream. <laughs> Hi, buddy boy. Are you tired? My sleepy beak. Oh, I see a waggly tail back there. You've been barking at that squirrel all day. So I thought it might be fun to share with you guys a couple of skincare products that are almost empty and kind of my quick thoughts on them. So this DHC deep cleansing oil, I liked. It removes makeup, but it truly smells just like olive oil. And I know there's some level of actual olive oil in it. Um, and for that reason, I'm not like dying to try it again. This SK2 um, facial treatment essence is like freaking celebrity famous, you know what I mean? But um, I have a dupe for it. I can link the dupe below. It's so much cheaper. It's a little bit different, the viscosity. This is way more liquidy, feels like water. Um, and it's also like $100, no joke. So I could totally see myself trying this again in the future um, just because I do enjoy it and I think it's helping with my skin tone. But I don't think it's the only miracle worker I've tried, so I don't feel like I have to own it at all times. You know what I mean? And the dupe is really good. So then this one's from a brand I've recently been trying called Allies of Skin. Again, super bougie brand. They sent this to me long ago. But this is a really nice serum. I've even traveled with this a little bit when we went on our last trip to Disney. Um, the packaging, I like broke it though, so I've just been dealing with that. But it smells awful. <laughs> it smells awful, but I really do feel like my skin is literally glowing the next morning when I use this. And just a quick little uh, talk about this It Cosmetics Confidence in a Neck Cream. Uh, honestly, you can use your face cream or just a really good moisturizer on your neck anyway, but I figured they sent this in PR a long time ago. I'd give it a try. Here's the problem. It's this really kind of peachy orange shade and it gets on your pillows. So like I lay on my stomach sometimes or I'll put it on the back of my neck too. I literally kept seeing that my pillow had this and I thought, is it self tanner? But it would appear when I hadn't been wearing self tanner, then I realized, Jessica, it's this. So I haven't used it since I realized that because I'm like, well, I don't want it staining my sheets. So I wish they would come out with this again, but like in a just like white or translucent kind of a shade, you know what I mean? Not orange. <laughs> so future Jessie here, I'd already like signed off for the night but I just took my makeup off and um, I already got it off. I should have filmed it before I did. But when I usually, once I do my double cleanse of like a makeup remover and my like face cleanser, all my makeup's gone, mascara, liner, all of it. But today with that mile high mascara, it was a lot harder to get off and I had to kind of like rub. Obviously if I use like a waterproof makeup remover, I'm sure it would have worked because it did still come off. But that's just abnormal for me because I don't use like waterproof mascara and that one was not labeled as such. So I don't think it's necessarily waterproof, but I guess what I'm trying to say is it, it is a little bit tougher to come off versus other regular mascaras. So just something to be aware of. Okay, back to past me. I think I'm gonna turn in a little bit early. It's like nine o'clock. Tyler's finishing up a project he's working on in the basement. If you saw some mess kind of behind me and around me when we were eating the food, our basement's kind of in flux right now. We're like organizing some things in a closet down there. So we just have crap everywhere, it seems. Anyway, I'm excited to sit in bed and read a book. I'm reading the book Outlander. I know there's a series based on it that my friend Christine had told me about that she loves. And she also likes like the same shows I look like Game of Thrones and stuff. So I'm like, maybe. So I figured I would start by reading the book. I got it for free through my library on my Kindle, but I just finished the book Wild and I really liked it. The first half, I, I was like, I don't know. Second half, I was like, I cannot put this down. I would stay up till like one in the morning reading because I just couldn't stop. So really liked that one. And it totally gave me a different perspective on not nature, I mean, a little bit, but it just kind of gave me a different perspective on a lot. Like I'd never really heard of the Pacific Crest Trail and it gave me a different perspective on hikers and what that's like and just, you know, why people would be out there and the people she met and it's just interesting. So if you're, even if it doesn't sound up your alley, you might be surprised, but you do have to get through about half of the book before, in my opinion, it really starts like kicking. 
Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love doing these videos every once in a while. Right now, I'm only doing them once a month. Let me know if you'd like me to do them twice a month. Um, I wouldn't mind doing that. In fact, I quite enjoy these. But just let me know your thoughts down below. And other than that, I hope you'll subscribe before you leave. If you missed my last day in the life vlog, I will link it below as well because I had a blast filming that one. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah. That felt weird. I don't usually do that. I'm not doing that again.